You ever buy something, you like you have no idea why you wanted it, you just wanted it, and because of Amazon, you just beep, 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 and then it shows up at your door. Reviews from the tub. Reviews from the tub. Gonna review from my tub. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the show. Look at this here, man. We're, let's, let's, let's throw this over to a quick unboxing. Got me here in the kitchen unboxing this For whatever reason, I wanted a hummingbird feeder. I thought it would look cool to look outside my window, see them, they're, they're, they flap their wings a thousand miles an hour. I got a really, really fancy camera that I, you know, just, yeah, like I'm a nature photographer Jones over there. I thought that would be cool. So we ordered a, a hummingbird feeder from the old Amazon. We started putting this thing together uh, April 10th. This, this, man, this vlog, this is over the course of some time here, man. Uh, April 10th, we we, we decided we're going to put, the, we're going to hang this thing. Now, it did say, you're... You're supposed to have it out two weeks in advance of the hummingbird migration. They work their way north. I guess they go south for the winter. So they work their way north. And it, it said, like, get this, y'all. Here's the best way to figure out when the hummingbirds will be in your area. Google when they were in your area last year. <laughs> like, yo, no shit. That's legit what it said. Come on, y'all. So you got this thing here. You got to you gotta put food in it. You got to make something for them to eat, a nectar for them to suck out of this thing. You know, they, they like to suck the nectar. So you got to do, you got to take one part sugar to four parts water. Uh, so that would be, in our case, this was a half a cup of sugar to two cups of water. Heat it up on the stove. That could be a process. But you want to make sure there's no sugar granules in there at all. You want to, you want a nice sugar crystal free water. You got to watch it very closely. Now, while your nectar cools, you got to hang this friggin' thing. So what we did here is we we figured out what what pole pillar post we wanted it on. You got to measure it out, man. You, you, oh, listen, if y'all are like an at home DIY uh, uh, novice slash amateur, measure measure. You have to measure twice, cut once. That's a thing, y'all. You want to know right where you need your holes drilled into this thing because, you know, once you, you can't undrill the hole. Just so you do know, though, like while we were doing this, we like we were totally under control because we had like supervisor. Supervisor was on our asses, boy. So now we're, <laughs> we're going to hang. Metal, uh, yeah, we're going to hang this on these metal girders, railings, whatever the hell. Drilling into metal is no small feat, but it is not impossible. You just need the right drill bit, uh, <laughs> and you have to oil the tip. You got to keep that son of a bitch lubricated, boy. It, wh what I believe it does is, is it helps cool the bit. It might help move the the, the 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 bit dust out of the out of the hole. I don't actually know. I'm as novice and amateur as it gets with this. Shit. But we did have to go back and lube quite a few times. Oh my! So of course, because it's us. Um, the screw didn't fit. It's too small. So we do have, because we are, Lauren, Lauren is a little bit better at the DIY home improvement type thing than I am, but I'm learning. I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, we have a screw box. So now we have to find enough screws to screw. <laughs> I got to tell you, our supervisor wasn't very impressed with this part. He, we, like, we tried. He was not impressed with us, boy. So because it's us, we don't have enough screws to fit. Really pretend to what we're doing. Yeah, the original, the screw we had, we made a hole too big. It won't stay. We're gonna zip tie it anyway for safety, so it doesn't fall on the neighbor's head. We got a bigger screw in our screw basket. We don't have enough. We gotta go to Home Depot tomorrow. Tomorrow. In the meantime, we're gonna finish our gardening setup. Before we ran to the store, uh, since Laura's more handy than me, she finished uh, drilling drilling some holes there while I ran around the neighborhood getting action shots. So this is my big ass, all burly look. I, I think I had my beard there, like just burly, like running around with my phone. He he, Lauren's up there drilling shit on a step stool. Put the screw in. Concentration face, oh yeah. Now it was off to the Home Depot. When, when you all get your own place, man, that Home Depot becomes, it's, it's the home away from Home Depot. Now I was a little worried that, you know, we were gonna have to buy a whole box, like 500 screws when we needed like, I think, I think we needed one. <laughs> but 
Holy shit, do they have a screw selection. You could get every kind of screw you want. And only like a little baggie of like four or five. That was that was convenient. So now we, we gotta get these screws in, so we need it some. Good old fashioned American muscle. Unfortunately, I had to do it because we couldn't find any good old fashioned American muscle. Tang a hummingbird feeder. Okay. All right, so screws, man, you know, hold the drill. We got the screws. Time to hang some brackets, baby. Look at this. Look at these brackets going right up. First one's up. Let's put up the second one. We also uh, administered some zip ties to it because we didn't, like, I, I was just worried that the weight of, of, of a plant hanger feed, a plant, a, fl a hanging flower pot, jeez Louise, and the bird feeder would maybe pull the screws out of the metal because there wasn't a nut on the backside of the thing and the nut that we didn't have that. So we zip tied. I was afraid this thing was going to fall out and, like, God forbid, hit a car. And next thing you know, we're calling homeowners insurance. Ugh. So April April twentieth came. We we I said I, we we started this on April tenth. April twentieth came. It was a week. April twentieth was the date that the, the hummingbirds apparently were in my area last year. So supposed to be up to two weeks in advance. We, we were up a week and a half. That's not bad. I think that's close enough rule. Uh, no goddamn hummingbirds. So we are. I, I changed out the water weekly. Made fresh sugar water because that will go bad. It's sugar water sitting in the hot sun. It will I, I guess curdle. Uh, finally, we <laughs> May 16th, we finally, uh, I decided to, we're going to change some things up. I Googled what actually could attract the hummingbird and it said bright colors, red, red, red was your go-to. The base was, was boring base color with yellow flowers where they would suck the nectar out of the flower. I'm painting this whole goddamn base red. So covered, covered the flowers with painter's tape because I want to keep those flowers yellow. We took this bad boy outside, ran to the home, uh, actually I said Walmart for like a $4 uh, uh, can of the red spray paint. Took this out in the yard. All right, let's see that from another angle. There's a, there's a little, little treat for Lauren right there. So as an expert painter, I went back out there, gave it a second coat like you do. And uh, we made some fresh sugar water, freshened that bad boy up and hung it right back up. Uh, we then proceeded to change the water every weekend, hoping a hummingbird would show up. Not yet. On May 31st now, this journey started uh, April 10th was when the hanging went. May 6th, May 31st, excuse me, May 31st, we were at the Dollar General. Look what I find, y'all. Look what I find. Hummingbird food, right? No brainer. This this ran me two dollars and fifty cents, and I figure if I'm gonna see a friggin' hummingbird, it's worth every penny of the two fifty. Uh, so brought that home, and same deal, same deal. You do the you do the proportions, a fourth of this to you know whatever, however much water you're doing. It looked like Jello, y'all. It was red powder, made it stirring it around there. It really looked like Jello before it sets. Cleaned out the bird feeder again because you know we, we we want to invite you. You need a clean plate to eat off. Refilled it with the red business. Hung it back up there. We <laughs> we even went and got some bright flowers. We got these red and yellow flowers. Look at this garden, oh man. We we've been growing this stuff from like little seedlings. Look at this. We're we're doing we're having a hell of a summer here, but still no hummingbirds. So it is currently June eighth. I don't know if this vlog is ending right now, and I tell you. I didn't see any hummingbirds for the rest of the year, but thank you for watching and be sure to Hold the phone, hold the phone. Hummingbird showed up. Oh my God, hummingbird showed up. It was fantastic. I'm always looking out the window and I was so glad that this video actually has a payoff now. Please enjoy two to three minutes of hummingbird footage shot through my cell phone through the window. <laughs> now, if you're wondering why there's shit all over the windows, that's George's nose prints. God bless him, hummingbirds.
Now that we're all flapped out from those hummingbirds, you know what you should do? You should flap your wings over a thousand miles an hour to Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch and follow reviews from the tub. That would be greatly appreciated. Without you guys, I'm just building hummingbird feeders by myself. And that's, that's what? That, that doesn't, that outro doesn't work for this video. Guys, thank you very much. If you made it this far, learn to read or something. I don't know. <laughs> thank you guys. I really appreciate it.